The 2023 Jeep Cherokee is a small two-row crossover SUV. The Cherokee was last redesigned in 2014, making it one of the oldest vehicles in its class. That said, Jeep hasn't let the Cherokee wilt, updating it with new trims, new features and a mild refresh just a few years ago. Last year, the Cherokee benefited from a revised trim lineup and more standard features on some models. Jeep hasn't announced any official changes for 2023, though given its age, another update or a full redesign could be in the cards. If a full redesign does occur, we expect the 2023 Jeep Cherokee to include a hybrid, or even plug-in hybrid, version among the new drivetrain offerings. So today in this video we're gonna touch many features of this amazing American Masterpiece Bold SUV, so be attention and don't waste and skip any sec of this review and don't forget to hit like button down below. And now let's go. Comfort. The Jeep Grand Cherokee has one of the nicest interiors in its class. The design looks nice, and the materials are upscale, especially in the upper trims. Everything but the base trim has leather seats, and the top trims come with luxuries like massaging seats, four-zone climate control, and premium audio systems, including a 19-speaker Macintosh sound system. The seating space is generous in both rows of seats. Since it's bigger than a compact SUV, the Grand Cherokee has back seats that are all-day comfortable, even for taller adults. However, the cargo space is a little tight compared to most SUVs this size. Available in short and long wheelbase variants, the 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee knows how to pamper occupants and their luggage. It scores a 9 on the TCC scale thanks to its comfortable seats, good second row leg room, impressive cargo space, and overall refinement. The base Grand Cherokee stretches about 194 inches long, while the Grand Cherokee L is 10.0 inches longer overall, with that extra girth allocated about 50 over 50 between third row space and cargo room. Most versions have power-adjustable front seats with heating. Standard cloth can be swapped out for several grades of leather. Row 2 is spacious regardless of overall length, though Grand Cherokee L versions offer true stretch-out room. The L's third row bench can even accommodate adults in a pinch. Cargo ranges from about 38 cubic feet behind the rear bench and a maximum of 71 cubes in the short wheelbase model to 17.2 cubic feet behind row 3, 46.2 cubes behind row 2, and nearly 85 cubes overall in the Grand Cherokee L. Even the base Lairdo has a nice feel inside, but higher-end versions start adding in real wood trim, stitched surfaces, and beautiful leather. They're not quite Range Rovers, but they're not that pricey either. The Cherokee does a fine job of softening harsh roads but is less adept at controlling the ups and downs of smoother undulating roads. We found the seats to be comfortable, with nice, breathable upholstery even if they don't provide a lot of lateral support. There's an average amount of road and wind noise, not enough to be distracting, but we wouldn't call it quiet either. The climate control system maintains temperature well, and the controls are easy to locate and adjust. Some functions such as the seat and steering wheel heaters are located in the touchscreen, requiring an extra step, but pop up immediately when you start the car, a nice touch. The seat heaters get toasty quickly, too. Driving Driving the Jeep Grand Cherokee on the street is a pleasant experience. A test drive of this SUV will clarify why it's on the more expensive side of its class. The ride is smooth and comfortable, and there's not much body roll. The ride is exceptionally supple if you opt for the quadra lift air suspension, which improves both on-road comfort and off-road capability. The base V6 powertrain does the job, but it won't blow you away. This V6 has more than enough power for most drivers and returns decent fuel economy, but drivers wanting more should get the optional Hemi V8. The performance upgrade with the V8 is noticeable from behind the wheel, and the exhaust note is satisfying. But frankly, it's hard to argue it's worth the extra cost, and the fuel economy is much worse than the V6. Both engines use an 8-speed automatic transmission, which delivers smooth and quick shifts that you'll hardly notice. Rear-wheel drive is standard in the Grand Cherokee, but if you have any off-road ambitions, you'll want to upgrade to 4WD. There are two 4WD systems available, Quadra Track I and Quadra Track 2, which adds a 2-speed low transfer case. The available Select Terrain system has Auto, Sport, Snow, Sand, Mud, and Rock Drive modes allowing you to customize your drive. Whether it's a snowy road, a muddy trail, or just an open road, choosing the proper drive mode can help you get the most out of your Jeep. We're pleasantly surprised by the Cherokee's sporty nature, especially when you consider Jeep's reputation for off-road capability. The steering is nicely weighted and feels direct. It also transmits some of the road texture to the driver. The wheel is well-balanced, and there's a good sense of on-center feel. Shifts feel sluggish with the 9-speed automatic, so we'd probably opt for the turbo 2.0-liter engine, which outperforms the V6. The brake pedal makes it easy and predictable to stop smoothly in everyday driving. Off-roading is above average too, with multiple trim levels from which to choose that offer varying levels of capability in the dirt. Engine Like the last-generation Grand Cherokee, the new one is powered by either a 3.6-liter V6 or a 5.7-liter Hemi V8. Jeep also offers its plug-in hybrid 4Z powertrain, which consists of a turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-4 and an electric traction motor delivering a combined 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. 
A hybrid's motor is juiced by a 14.0 kWh battery pack. Rear wheel drive is standard with the base V6, but all wheel drive is standard on Grand Cherokees with the V8 or plug in hybrid powertrain. Several different all wheel drive systems are available, including an electronically locking limited slip differential. A Trailhawk model with more robust off road equipment and greater capability features an adjustable air suspension that provides up to 11.3 inches of ground clearance and a disconnecting sway bar that allows greater wheel articulation for tackling difficult terrain. During our initial test drive, we were impressed with the Grand Cherokee's composed, smooth ride and found both the V6 and V8 engines to be plenty perky. At our test track, our V6-powered Summit test vehicle managed a respectable 7.4 second run to 60 miles per hour. The Jeep Grand Cherokee has two engine options, a V6 and a V8. The 3.6-liter V6 that powers most Grand Cherokee models is a tried and true powertrain that strikes a nice balance of power and efficiency. Drivers looking for more muscle can opt for the Hemi V8, which boosts power, torque, and towing capability. This is one of the only V8 options in this class. Rear-wheel drive is standard, and multiple four-wheel drive systems are optional. However, every V8-powered Grand Cherokee is 4WD. The V6 and the V8 both employ an 8-speed automatic transmission. Interior. The high-mounted cabin is easy to climb into and see out of, and there's an ample amount of headroom. The view straight back is free of obstructions, and the generous glass, including the small window at each rear flank, also helps to minimize blind spots. There's also a generous amount of seat height adjustment, which should suit a wide range of driver types. Backseat passengers will appreciate the generous legroom. This Jeep is not only easy to use, but it's also easy to figure out thanks to a straightforward Uconnect infotainment system and large, easy-to-wield knobs and buttons. However, those who are eyesight challenged might want to upgrade to the larger 8.4 inches infotainment screen. A thoroughly modernized cabin replaces the outgoing Grand Cherokee's somewhat dated interior. While base Lairdo models offer the essentials, upscale summit and overland trims will add luxuries like quilted leather upholstery, open pour wood trim, and high-tech digital displays. The Grand Cherokee is strictly a two-row SUV, but buyers seeking a third row can upgrade to the Grand Cherokee L, which we review separately. We haven't had a chance to test the new Grand Cherokee yet, but we expect it to accommodate more of our carry-on suitcases than the previous generation model. Fuel Economy Fuel Economy estimates for the V6 powered Grand Cherokee are typical of the mid-size SUV segment at 19 mpg city and 26 mpg highway when paired with rear-wheel drive. Adding all-wheel drive drops each of those estimates by 1 mpg. The V8 model is rated for 14 mpg city and 22 mpg highway. The plug-in hybrid 4Z delivers better fuel economy and is rated for 23 mpg city and 24 mpg highway. It comes with a 14.0 kWh battery pack and a 134 horsepower electric motor that allows the Grand Cherokee to cruise for up to 26 miles per charge. Jeep boasts that the Grand Cherokee with the 4Z powertrain completed the famed Rubicon Trail entirely in its EV driving mode. That depends on what's under hood. The most popular 3.6-liter V6 serves as the basis for our 2 out of 10 rating. It scores 19 MPG City, 26 Highway, 21 combined with rear-wheel drive and a smidge lower with four-wheel drive. Adding the 5.7-liter V8 means a heftier fuel bill, figure 17 MPG combined regardless of drive wheels. The Grand Cherokee 4Z, meanwhile, rates 23 MPG combined on gas only and offers up to 25 miles of all-electric range. That's not great in the grand scheme of SUVs, but it could mean tailpipe emissions-free commuting.